Christian stuff. I'm Sarah. And I'm Kim. And we're glad you're here to join us to talk about stitching and other stuff. So and other stuff. The girls are antsy to go. So we're going to just do them. Then we can chat about the week or from the vault or whatever. Because they have friends, neighbor friends, waiting impatiently to play with them. So we'll let Liddy go first. I don't think she's Can been first for a while. No, she was, she was before. And, okay, but she we're letting Liddy go first today. I don't. Liddy has something. Liddy doesn't have much, which is really too bad. But when we went to Portland, Portland. Portland. Ah, <laughs> try city. You have a little haul. Just show your haul. We did. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But Liddy has a little bit of haul from a special trip we did. And she picked out some yarn. Do you know what you're going to make with this? Yes. Scarves and hats for my stuffed animals. Scarves and hats. So it's called Uptown Worsted Mist. It's pretty soft. It is acrylic, I think, completely, I'm assuming. I'm having a hard time finding. <laughs> there it is, 100% acrylic. So That's it's not really soft. That's important and, about it, I think. That it's soft? It's minty and soft. And, and what else? Acrylic. And uh, its color is aqua. Aqua. So she's going to make something for and, her dolls from that. And I bought a cross stitch. So Lizzie and Kate. Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate. I always think the Here, star is an ant. Lizzie Kate. Flip it. November blocks. November blocks. With charm. So she's going to. I really stop. like that one. I have some Ada downstairs that we can probably use for. Okay. <laughs> and there's something. It comes with a little acorn button. So cute. So cute. So that is Liddy's haul. The acorn button goes there. Okay. Cute. Very cute. That's okay. it. I almost bought that pattern myself. And then there I told each of the girls they could pick. It, so I got it in time. Yes. You got it in time. Bye. Bye. Um, what, why do you have that glass pumpkin? <laughs> Millie's, Millie's bringing over my coffee table directions to show, or decorations to show too. <laughs> she apparently picked up like a whole armful. Come on the other side. Come on the other side. My setup here is a little different than usual because the lighting is getting a little, just a little trickier. Let's start with this. Okay. So I made continuing the tree. Oh, cool. Good job. Look at that. Where's the pattern? So I'm going to show the design. Okay. She's working okay. on that. Uh-huh. Yellow and orange. Okay. Wow, you're really marching along. You don't have that much more to go, hon. Cute. And I got some yarn, too. Same kind. It's Here, color. come in the screen. I know, it's a little mm. tricky here. There we it's go. It's color is... What is it called? Emerald. Yeah. Emerald. That's a really cute one, too. What are you going to make with it? I have no idea. You don't know yet. <laughs> I told you I'd make teach you how to make a hat. Okay. But we haven't done that yet. You okay. have one more thing. Let's just two, show the one thing. Things. Let's just share this one. I did no. this. I did. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just show it briefly then. Okay. I'm making a blanket. This is a new thing that we've never shown here before. The blanket. I'm tying yeah. it together with <laughs> little <laughs> squares of fabric. <laughs> This is like a kit. I, I think a friend gave this to her for Christmas a couple of years ago. And so she's tied it all. Is this the front side? Yep. Oh, okay. So yeah. And then it came with these like stick on sticker things. Sticker things. So she's been working on that. Stick on? Or do you have to iron them on? They're stickers. They're stick on. And they really are really adhesive. So here's like what they came like an adhesive thing on the back but like I mean I could peel it off but I'd have to work pretty hard so yes wow okay <laughs> the Hatchimals brand the Hatchimals one um okay hold this um open on it. <laughs> oh here let's go fast we don't maybe need to unwrap all of it yeah but I want to show what I actually oh, I guess did. we do to show where you really worked okay this is that knitting doll we've showed this before and Millie did some work on it's this. It's really long. Whoop, whoop. 
Oh, I forgot to check this too. So did you do I that? I did this. Always. She thought it might be ready for a pot holder, and I said, yeah. I think it's more like a rug now. No, it's about <laughs> this big. I said, think that's bigger oh, than a hot pot holder, yeah. babe. <laughs> we can stitch it up into a rug. Yeah. Yes. Okay, very nice, Millie. Okay, here you go. Okay, group effort on that. <laughs> and yeah, that is the, if, just if you don't have something to work on, somebody's going to pull that out. Okay, Rosie. Rosie made something for her dolly in a wait, similar vein. Wait, wait. There's one more thing. Oh, she There's forgot to show her. Does she got that? And then she got a pattern too. Okay. okay. And Millie also got picked out something. This. Lizzie Kate summer basket. She got a bee charm right there. A little bee charm. A button. Cute. That's gonna be so cute. And. This is what it looks like. And the B button did not come with this pattern. No. But luckily, the shop had. It's a different one. She insists it's a different one. It and is. I am 100% certain it's the same one. It's bigger. And it doesn't. And it, this, this one so doesn't we'll have the stripes on its wings. Okay. But it's very, very similar. Yeah. Now it's Rosie's Perfect. turn. Excuse me. Thanks, Millie. Bye. The same thing, so Rosie, but it says skirt. You have to wrap back. it around. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's a wrap around skirt that she made with those. Tell you things. Same. And it has this. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Okay. How does it? How does it stay on, or does it have a button or something? I feel like it's, no, it's just a wrap like around. This. It is it a ballet, around. like a wraparound ballet skirt? Is that what you were Oh, uh, okay. No. no, you just have oh, to wear a top Leo, under it. So. You have to wear a top under it. So that's what Rosie's created. You just tuck you it tuck in it like in. a towel. There you go. So okay. Molly has a new skirt. And? I bought these yarn because they were only $3. She got to pick out two because they were less expensive. than the, They were just a little cheaper. These are also acrylic. These are called... Sirdar Snuggly. She got oh, their I didn't realize they were Sirdar. That's a nice brand. Is it? I've never heard of it. So yeah. I swear we could try and make a hat too. And she seemed more interested apparently than Millie did. I don't know if I want to make a hat. <laughs> what else did you get? I, the... I got this. <gasps> Another cute Lizzie Kate. Flip it from it January. Has this charm. Oh, on the no Blake charm. Right there. Uh-huh. So cute. And did you work with it? Maybe I have to borrow those from you guys when you're done. Yeah, that's the pattern. We didn't find any blue that matches. So we're still out of the blue. I need to I go buy some. Heart. I think I need to bring the design, like bring this into Hobby Lobby and find Yeah. I don't have any in my stash. But you did stitch the heart this week, so it looks beautiful. It looks very cute. Good job. Thank you, everyone. Hey, <laughs> okay. let's see. There we go. I don't have any from the vault, do you? I do. I have a from the vault. So here's mine from the vault. It's not framed. This is my vault. Most of my vault looks like this. <laughs> it's just folded up, shoved in a basket, getting dusty and dirty. And I didn't even look up what this design is. I probably should have before it, but I literally grabbed this at the last minute from the basket down by my chair. Um, I have never seen that before. When did you work on all these big projects? <laughs> uh, I did this in college and when I was first married and I finished it sometime after we were married. I think Jesse gave me this, it was a kit and it's probably dimensions. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I don't think I have the anything. I mean, you know, at that point, I don't even know if I saved the I have not seen the pattern of this anywhere around the house because I didn't even no. kept it. It's gorgeous. I love I, it. Isn't it silly that I haven't ever framed it? I now will. I just need to buy another frame. Kind of like I had those little girls that I now framed. Yeah. What I find silly is that I had no memory of you stitching that much when you were in college or when you were first married. Yeah, I did. I, still I remember you were, you were knitting. Very monogamous. So I worked only on this and I worked only on this for years. I mean, I really, it took Hold me, it. 
Okay, here I'll bring it. It's up. really pretty. It's just like it's wisteria. Yeah. You know? I love the benches and the little gate. It's gorgeous. Tons of half stitches. Tons of color yeah. changes. Lots of back stitching. Yeah. I will try and look up and see if I can find it. Maybe somebody watching will even know what this is. I'm I'm pretty sure it was a dimensions kit. I, I'm sure I didn't gather all the floss for this. So no. dimensions are something. I mean, what else would it be other than dimensions? What other big kits? Well, there was Bacilla. Bacilla. But dimensions was Dimensions is the one that's had most of those big ones, I feel like. Probably Dimensions. I really, I think this would be really pretty in my bathroom, my upstairs bathroom, like kind of our main bath, mm -hmm. um, because the walls are sort of a blue. I'm sure yeah. blue in this would match the walls in that bathroom. Yeah. And I don't really have purple highlights in there, but I do have gray, like blue and gray. So I feel like the purple and, and the yellow would look really pretty. Oh, yeah. Works of art you have stuck in a basket. <laughs> I think that's the only really big one that I have. I have to go downstairs and look and see if I have any more. But I only, well, I have another Hummel girl. She's pretty big. Oh. I might have another one somewhere. I'll follow. Well, yeah. I just don't have so, any memory of you stitching those big pieces. This is how it is all the time. It's just been sitting here for probably, so, well, well, we've been married since, oh, Six, so I finished it probably somewhere between 06 and 0, before Liddy was born probably. So between 06 and 09, and it's been 10 years. It's just <laughs> pulled it up in some bad. At least mine were framed, framed badly, but framed. I know. Well, when I first was stitching, I didn't know how to frame, so I would have relied completely on you. Just well, it's a good thing you didn't rely on me. So now I can just do it and do it right. <laughs> Well, I didn't know about sticky board for a long time. I mean, until really recently, I was doing, getting think... and cutting it and pinning it. And that's how I started framing things several years back until I started watching Priscilla and Chelsea and was like, what is this magical thing where you just. I don't even know if we had magical sticky board back then. Cause I did. I also foam cord. You recently. Foam cord. Showed yeah. one of your from the vaults recently was on like that kitchen one that was so dirty last week. Or something. Something recently was on sticky board. Oh, that bunny it. one that was falling out of the red frame. <laughs> yeah. It had food on it. Yeah. yeah. With the maybe, but I don't think it was really. It was frowned upon more. Oh. Maybe I don't know. Or not as easy to get because most of my pieces are foam cord and they're pinned. I didn't. I I think I've only laced a couple. Yeah. Most of them were just pinned into the foam core. Yeah. Ooh, into the foam core. Why have I never done that? I've pinned them, but just to itself, like precariously. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with framing. YouTube would probably help me if I wanted to take the time to learn. YouTube, what a magical thing. <laughs> YouTube, we love you. Yeah. Uh, so that's my From the Vault. And it, it is really pretty. And I think it's silly that I haven't framed it. So I guess it's very pretty. Another life. I don't have anything that. I don't have anything that magical tucked away. Although I do have those pieces up in the attic that I need to get up there and look around for because. Yeah. And this is my sad, sad injury. I want y'all to know. And it matches mine, which is healing up so fast. Like I put, you know, it's the glare on there. Yeah. I can't see it very well. Here you go. Can you see it now? Oh yeah. So we both sliced our finger, same hand, different finger with a knife in the kitchen this week and I put a band-aid on mine right away and was like shocked when I took it off that was two days ago that was Saturday I took it off today and it's like almost healed up I mean it's still a cut but yeah um, anyway I well, took mine off, unfortunately I, I was gonna be using my hands mine cuts across yeah your my was, fingernail yours was way worse in almost a u-shape it's not very deep but I took the band-aid off today when I took my shower and when I went to when I got out of the shower and was combing, brushing my fingers through my hair, it's just rough enough that I can feel it. It's not, I don't think your nail heals in the middle of it like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. It was, it didn't hurt. I, you'd think it was a very sharp knife. I, I thought for sure I had cut my finger off at first, but you know, it hardly bled. It just hurt. 
yeah, because it also nicked the side of my nail. So the very side of it, that's what's going to be a pain to heal up because it's going to keep snagging. Yeah. Really <sighs> so mad. I was so mad at myself because my husband said, I sharpened all the knives. Be careful. I sharpened all the knives and I knew it. I just didn't grab my finger away fast enough. Mm -hmm. That was the same thing. I was thinking, oh, I hope I don't cut myself. Like, be careful. Don't cut yourself. And I was, and then the knife just like slipped and yeah, I was just chopping up onions or I think green peppers. I was just going to stick them in the freezer. I also grated, grated. Oh, it's looking better now, but I grated my thumb too on the cheese grater Friday night. And then Saturday <laughs> I sliced my fingers. So <laughs> our hands are a little messy, but that's okay. But we crafted on, man. We toughed it out. <laughs> we used these injured tools to keep crafting. <laughs> did we record at your house? We did, didn't we? Yeah, last week. Yeah. Yeah, we got, I got a lot done this week. You want to show what you got done? Sure, I can do that. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll start with the, one of the things that I did the most on was um, Carolyn's Look and Robin Bird's Eye Stitcher. We have the magazine monthly challenge Facebook group, and they had a mini challenge called Oh My Gourd, and it was a 10,000 stitch or 10 hours, you would work on one project that had a, a pumpkin or a gourd in it. And so I pulled out my focal piece for that, that group, which was these pumpkin guy. Yeah. And I had only, so I'll show you what I have. Oh, you got so far. I know when I started, I basically had this border and I was just starting this border. So I did all of this, all of that, and all of that. It wow. took me 10 hours. Actually, I worked on it 11 hours, but mm -hmm. I was so, so excited when my borders matched up. <laughs> Which was really late in the night. Because there was no way, folks. There was no way I was ripping out any of that. Yeah. Um, yep. So that was... That was a big chunk of time when we got home. I that was this weekend. Yeah, you were doing this up a little bit. Um, it's just getting really dark again, and I'm really sorry. I apologize to you all ahead of time. My lighting is really bad. It is really gray and gloomy out. Um, so that was the, that was a big thing that I did, and then I also took a break from that. I started my. Barbara Anna, I actually did a sacrilege thing. A sacrilege. I started, I started funky little trick or treat guy, girl. Girl. Um, <laughs> or guy. I took, huh? Or guy, I guess. <laughs> I, don't I don't really know. I think I tore the multiple times. I tore the page out of the magazine. What? Huh? What? You did it? You ripped it out? Huh? You ripped it out? Wow. I'll stick it back in. I just didn't want to, I, <laughs> I didn't want to go make a color copy because you know ink. <laughs> you don't want dad to poop his pants. <laughs> what? You didn't want dad to poop his pants this week? <laughs> no. <laughs> we just went and bought copier paper at Costco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, I don't even know. It's such like a huge box. Yeah. He goes, oh, this is going to last us a lifetime. And I wanted to say, probably not. <laughs> I think I, I did it. those big boxes a few months ago. <laughs> We're almost through it. <laughs> you know, he called up your brother and wanted to know if they wanted to buy half of it. I'm like, <laughs> we're just going to have to go buy more. But anyway. For that expensive even real like 20 bucks at most how much did it i don't know cost? no i think it was 32 i don't know i don't really know we spent a lot of money sorry we spent a lot of money at costco so anyway this is what i got done oh her face his or her face yeah and one little motif cute it's his face yeah. their face <laughs> cute <laughs> so eyes are really yeah cute. it goes it's not a very big huh the eyes are really cute on that yeah 
I think I'll work on this tonight, actually. Oh, maybe not. What's today? Monday? Maybe not. Because I, I worked on that. And then, while I was at Sarah's, I did start something she did, too. Right. She's probably farther along than I am, though. I might be. You want me to show mine at the same time? Try to remember which. Yeah, we cast on because, you know, we didn't have enough to work on and we really needed some new starts. Okay, yeah, I'm the weirdo. So we, and we didn't want to let y'all down. How many new starts? We didn't want to let y'all down. How many new starts? You know, we had. New starts do I have? Just One, that one. two. Oh, you have several too. Okay. Well, just so you know, we did a lot of starts this week. Just giving you a heads up. So we start, we, oh, my lighting, so bad. Not that started bad. Little Miss Paulson's Things of Winter, and I started, we both started up there with the little leaf. It's Things of Autumn. And that's all I've done. <laughs> you said Things of Winter, but, oh. Did yeah. I say Winter? Sorry, Things of Autumn. It's, uh, it I'm awesome. thinking ahead. But anyway, it's pretty. It's, that's three colors. Yeah, so there's this. Bowl. That is and a gold and then a lighter yellow at the very tip. You poop. What the heck? Why do you have more done? I beat you. <laughs> I'm winning. I don't know. Huh? I said I'm winning. I feel like maybe my audio isn't very good. Today. <laughs> I know. This was this was really cute to work on. Really fun to work on. The little mug. Look how cute that is. Yes. You're frozen. I think um, okay, so. I worked on that, those two things, and then the other things I worked on. Oh, that's the things of bottom. The other thing that I worked a lot on, quite a bit at, um, at Sarah's, I stayed up a little later than she did several nights, mm -hmm. was my um, <clears throat> Hawk Run Hollow Christmas. Oh, to refresh your memory. I'm doing Mr. Peacock there. Yes, it's looking really so. This is how far I've gotten. Oh, so I basically I did to me the next day. I didn't show you. Mm -mm. I did all of that and I did all of the beginning of the peacock. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's a lot. We oh. say it every time. It's a lot of stitching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do like it. Yeah. This thing is, though, I keep thinking, man, that block's going to kill me. That's a lot of stitching. And then I look at what's coming up next. <laughs> or that I one. Yeah, I was going to say, or that one. Or that one. <laughs> or that somebody one. I saw, somebody <laughs> I saw did this block, and they said, now I know what it looks like to use up a whole skein of black. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot so, of stitching. Okay. Yeah. So those are the things I've worked on. I think those are the only things, the only things I've worked on, but I worked big chunks of time on them, except for the little leaf. Yeah, so what do you got? Oh no, I had one more. Where did it go? You had danger around with my lighting so much. My, I worked on my things of summer. Oh, I worked on that too. Sure you did. I did. I'm sure you're farther <laughs> along than I am. Probably. I don't know how, because I feel like you stitch way later and longer than I do. I <laughs> finished up. Hold on a second. Well, you did the lanterns while you were at my house. Yeah, I worked on the lantern. I finished up the lanterns. Whoops. Sorry. This fabric's kind of floppy. So I did all of that in the little B. Oh, cute. And then I started the, and then I did this little motif there. And then I started the little bathing suit. And then I started the, I didn't do the bottom half because that's where the chart oh, is, yeah. cuts in half. So there's a honeycomb here. And I'll just tell you right now, it's all backstitch and I'm not a big fan. It's not that bad though. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. It was a little tricky. I'll just show mine as long as we're showing those. Yeah. That's what I stitched this week. Oh, you have yours done now? Oh, yeah, I'm sure yours is done. Done. I'm done. <laughs> I finished the whole thing this week. No, I just did this. And sorry, the, there we go. Is that okay? Is that not too glary? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's better. So the, the trickiest part about the honeycomb, just so you know, as you get ready to do it, is that the straight stitches that go horizontally go over one and a half 
really go over that's what I don't like about it I have a really hard time with that so that was the tricky part yeah <laughs> but it is really cute I think and I, it's really cute. On, I think I was missing a leaf in the back stitching on the leaf. Oh, so you're all done. Yeah. So I finished cute. all that and then that's what I worked on for that one. Sorry. I just figured I'd show mine as long as we're showing. Yeah, I'm done. That's, that's all I worked on. I, I really did work a lot on that orange pumpkin piece yeah, and that um, Christmas hard. hawk run. Let's see. What else did I do? Okay. I worked some on my, my gathering eggs by Nora Corbett. But that's not what this is. Never mind. This is my things of autumn, which I already showed. Here's gathering eggs. I worked on it one or two nights. I'll show. It's from this magazine, and it's this design. I'll just show that picture really quick. So it's from Cross Stitch and Needlework, Better Homes and Gardens, Cross Stitch and Needlework, April 98. And that was a long time ago. I know. Yeah, that's 21 years ago. I was in eighth grade. <laughs> when I, when How did we figure out her mom was? Oh, somebody was just telling us that. Uh, her mom is the designer of Told in a Garden. That's right. Lavender and Lace. And okay. The one? What's the third Butternut. one? Butternut. Butternut Road. Butternut Road is the, yeah, the gal at the cross stitch store that we visited told us that. There she is. So this week I worked along in here. I had, I think I did a good chunk of this. A lot of this is split. What do you call it? Blended threads when you have one and one, one color, of one and one color. Oh. So a lot of what I did this week was blended, which I, it's not really that much more time consuming, but it feels like it will be. I always kind of dread those ones. So I did all this lighter gray or uh, blue Cute. in there. Oh, my email just popped open, but I don't think that will affect Zoom. And I don't know why I did that. There we go. Um, Cute. Did it again. So one moment. I'm gonna have, like last week I had no editing. This week I'm gonna have a ton of editing to do. Okay. I know. Um, so I worked on gathering eggs. I worked, oops, I'm gonna put the pattern back in there because that will make it easier when I'm cleaning up. I worked a lot on my milk and cream co in my really fancy bag. 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 Hair product bag. Milk and cream company. And I was trying my hardest to get that big cow all the way done because I was able to buy another skein of the black coffee. But oh, look at that. Here, where's the needle? There it is. Oh. Um, so there's, don't mind the thread there, but so it's done except for all the, um, the um, eggshell is the color that is filling in the patchwork. And then its face is not done. I'm missing its eyes and its muzzle is one, well, maybe two over one. And it's eating something in the picture. It's eating one of those flowers. So I'll stitch that here too, probably this week, but here's the whole thing so far. And it's looking wow. really good. It's a lot bigger than I kind of anticipated when I bought it. It looks like just this little tiny dainty project in the picture. So many of those Plum Street samplers are that way. They look mm -hmm. like, oh, look at this cute little project. And they did stitch it over 36, so it probably is a little bit smaller. And I'm doing it, I think, over 30 on 32. Yeah, but okay. still. I, I guess this is kind of a finish. I finished one block. Oh, except for his backstitched nose of Snapper Land by Bent Creek and started the third block this week. So I just need to fill in his nose. So I think I did all this, some of the snow and the star, and then I did all that border this week for the third. How many blocks, how many blocks are there? Six? It's four, four blocks. Four. Oh. One that I'm starting, that one that I just finished, I think is called Chalet. 
And the one that I'm doing next, let me think, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's called Zerink. Oh. So I did that because the um, way that the snow moves is designed, I didn't do it right with these two. I should have done a different mm -hmm. block here, but it is designed so that it looks like one continuous picture, which oh, I Oh, sure. So like that snow is. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but I kind of wish I had done that the first, in the first block. Yeah. Let's see here. I have one more, but I think I'm going to show it. It's a new start and it's on haul. I'll just show it now, I guess. Show it now. Yeah, I feel like there was something else I worked on, but probably not. Okay, so this is something I keep talking about starting. This is from the 2019 oh. Halloween Just Cross Stitch magazine. And hey, I this. You did you did do something else. What did I do else? The blue piece. This your one? blue piece. This one? Your blue, your blue, your blue piece. I don't know what you're talking about. Out of the book. Out of the book. Your ABC blue. Yeah. Where is that? I forgot to grab it. Well, talk about this one first. I see it. I, it's within reach. I'll talk about this one. You're right. I have another new start. So this was a new start this week. It's called Tunnel of Trees. And I, I don't know. I just seriously love this piece. I'm not sure why. Yeah. And it called out to me. The colors of it, I think, are really stunning. I love the dark. The dark blue fabric is hard to work on, but it mm -hmm. also is so. You got your light now, though. You have your light. And my magnifier, which actually helped a ton. And I think it won't mm -hmm. be quite so hard when I'm doing the orange and the brighter, the moon and the, and the grass. Yeah. But when I was working this week, I started in the middle. Um, I, I'm doing this on Picture This Plus. Lugana. Oh man, the girls were messing with the sticker. And I'm, yeah. I think it's Mystic is the, and it's 32 count. I tend to like 32 count. Um, so it's upside down. <laughs> there's the roof of the house and the little porch. Oh. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you can see. I'm working on this house right here. So you can kind of see I've got the gray. Yeah. Um, porch um, beams which is so cute and it has the little like detail of the, so I did wow. some of it last night and some the night before, but it's really fun. I like watching that one come. And I did, I did have another start. Thank you for reminding me. I was trying to think what it was. Yeah, okay. that's what I thought you were gonna pull out. Yeah, so I also- you didn't show me this one. I haven't showed you this, have I? So this was another one that I just got fabric for when we went, we haven't even talked about our little excursion, but I figured we would when we talked about our Hall. Yeah, um, that's where my hall came from. So um, Deb has sent us, and we are we've used some of the things she sent us to give away in our giveaways lately. But she sent mm -hmm. us one of these um, Better Homes and Gardens cross stitch Christmas books. This one's two thousand three, and I when I was flipping through, I just like fell in love with this piece. I have never really stitched a traditional sampler, not that this is really traditional, but like with the letters and the, like the alphabet, mm -hmm. the little motifs. That, the most like little motifs I've done are the Alicia Paulson, but nothing like yeah. kind of more along these lines. So I was able to get some fabric for it, started it, promptly ripped it out because the fabric that I have was probably a little too small. I kind of wish I'd done it a little bigger but this is what the Galley Cross Stitch store was saying should work. So I have up through F done and the little key and no. it'll be a snowflake and it's a bike, it's two colors. And everything is stitched in these, this is six, but it's only three colors. I got a double skein of each just in case. So these are the three colors of all the motifs. It's gonna be so pretty. And it's just, yeah, I wanted it on the bright white so that the blue mm -hmm. stood out and it has that kind of delft look. And I just, yeah, love it. and it is pretty nice to work on. This is not, I think this is an even weave too. I don't even know what it is. I didn't ask. I forgot to ask. She didn't really say, but it, I like it. So that's, I thought she said it was a Lugana. 
it seems like a Lugana. It's definitely an even weave. Um, yeah. The only other thing I really have that I worked on was that I, when I was showing you last week, my baby sweater that I was knitting, ripped it out. It's a Milo. <laughs> this is such an old pattern. Look, it's like, and I'm pretty sure she's redesigned the whole pattern. So if you do go buy this pattern, it's going to look different. But um, it's a little vest with a little cable down the middle. I ripped it out because I did decide I wanted it to be a tighter weave. Um, so this is how far I got. But actually, I got all this yesterday. So it's going pretty fast. I like it better. I, th I think you made the right choice. Yeah, I just went down in needle size and it's working way, it's way nicer. I can tell mm -hmm. I'm going to be happier with it. So that's my work done. I had my I had my little Milo, but I don't have enough to really show. Okay. And I think I I think I'm off. Well, I don't I don't know. I think my stitch count's off or something. I was trying to work on it in the car yesterday when we were driving to Grandpa's, and thankfully they're thought, really this different. doesn't seem right. But then I didn't I I couldn't concentrate on counting that much in the car. Yeah. I get car sick. So yeah. I need to put it out. Yeah, that's that's it. What'd you buy this week? What what I what? What'd you buy this week? Well, you know, Sarah and I talked about how we were gonna go to her needlework store, which was a little bit of a trip because it's about an hour and a half away. But mm -hmm. because of, you know, 2020, shop hours aren't really super convenient because these poor ladies that are working and own this store are working second jobs mm -hmm. um during the day so luckily we we had a little bit of a the website said it was open at, at a certain time but then the facebook group said it opened at this time which was a better time mm -hmm. and if it had opened later we wouldn't have gone i think the website said it opened at five and we weren't going to drive that far and during the dinner hour but um but i had heard some other people talking about how a lot of shops like yarn shops and stuff are relying on Facebook to keep mm -hmm. their updates going. Easier. I think it's easier than trying to update their website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so she was supposed to open at three and we thought, well, we really wanted to make a day of it. We had the girls with us. And so we drove there, Sarah drove there and we stopped and had lunch at a pizza at Mott pizza. And then we knew that there was a yarn store that opened at noon that we had Sarah I think had been in there once before and I think I had been in there once before with a friend of mine who lives in the Tri-Cities because this is all in the Tri-Cities area which is Kennewick, Richland and Pasco there's three little cities together yep. um, so we went there and shopped and I have not been in a yarn store sheep's since clothes? before March is that huh? what a sheep's clothes is that what it's called the shop it was, oh uh, oh, it was called, what was it called? Let me see if I have the receipt. Here, I've got the receipt. Sheep's clothing. Okay, I was closer. I was going to say sheep's clothing, but then I second guessed myself. And it's in Kennewick, Washington, which is about an hour and a half from where I live. Yeah. Um, so I felt, I felt like a kid in a candy store. First of all, look how cute this bag she gave me is. Oh. It's little llamas or alpacas with scarves and stuff. Anyway, I like I said, I haven't been in a yarn store, a physical yarn store since probably February or January. And she <coughs> had some local dyers. And this person that does like alternative fibers. And I have never seen this before, but this person does yarn and the, it is milk yarn. Yeah, this is crazy. It's made out of milk protein, and it is this beautiful. Ooh, actually, my lighting's perfect. I think for well, maybe not. Maybe it won't. No, that's yellow great. with with white. And I asked her, "How in the world do they do this?" And she's and it's called summer, by the way. It's very soft. It almost has um like the pima cotton it almost has that feeling to it mm -hmm. but she said what they you know she said well think about when you leave like milk out and it sits for you know overnight or whatever and it gets a little bit of that scum and then it kind of dries well when it dries they can pull the fibers off and it's stretchy i guess and somehow they make magical yarn out of it so i thought i'm gonna try it so i think this will make a pretty little 
lacy shawl or a little shawlette. But then I also bought this gorgeousness. Yeah. And this I bought. This is um oh dream. Dream, dream in color. Yeah, what was it's it a like? fingering weight. And I got it to go. Um, a friend of mine sent me a, a beautiful little care package recently with a beautiful skein of um browns, and this has browns in it. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would make a beautiful two color, two color shawl. So I bought that, and then I just bought some wool soak to wash my wools in, and that is about it that I bought there. Mm -hmm. But I could have spent more. Yeah. Easily. It's easy to spend money there. Mm hmm yeah so did you buy anything there i did well i got all the girls yarn yeah um and then i also got a dream in color yarn that i think i want to find like a shawl or a, like something kind of lacy maybe um cowl or something but i thought this was really yeah cool. like some variation i don't know how it will knit up but it's really pretty. It's called, I forget what the colorway it'll is. It'll knit up. Color. It'll knit up really pretty. Yeah, it's called Kyoto Sunset. The girls were so funny. They were going around looking at all the names of all the yarns. And then they would come to me and be like, I just think, mom, that this one looks like, and then they'd come up with a name. And then they said, I just think it would be such a fun job to have to name yarn. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's all I really bought there was the girls' yarn and then this. Um, I don't think I bought anything else there. I think I just, this was kind of a splurge for me. I don't spend money on nice yarn very often. Yeah. Now and then. Well, and we were talking about how, you know, in the fall and winter, wear black more and mm -hmm. it'd be a nice pop of color. This one, yeah. And it kind of mm -hmm. goes with a yeah. lot of things that I own. I wear a lot of yeah. blue and there's a lot of blue in there. I like yeah. to wear pink. I don't have as much pink right now. There's not too much pink, but this would look pretty against pink. It kind of goes with a lot of what I wear. Yeah. So that's all I really bought there. And then we went over to check out the needlework store that was open at that point, or just about to open, called Needful Needlecraft. Needlecrafts. I think it's plural. Yes, Needful Needlecrafts, and it's in was it in Kennewick or Richland? Richland. Richland, I think, wasn't it? It was by the pizza place. So Tri-Cities in Washington are three cities and they're like right, they're just one big area. Mm -hmm. so I can never keep track where we were in town. So we got Mod Pizza and maybe I'll put a little clip at the end of the video of you and the girls at Mod. <laughs> we forgot to take picture or video. We were gonna do pictures at least for this to put at the end of the, and we were like, like mom said, like kids in a candy shop just like oh my gosh oh my gosh look at this we're in a cross stitch store and I don't ever really go into needlework shops because that is truly the closest one and that's an hour and a half away I don't, yeah. and I don't like happen to be going that way very often so yeah that was really yeah. fun so we totally forgot to take I did take a it was a nice shop I did take a picture I did take a picture of yarn in the yarn store <laughs> yeah I took a picture of the girls and I in the yarns in the yarn shop yeah Mm -hmm. So I can put that on the end too. Yeah. That's all I think I took the whole day was just mod and then one in the yarn store. But I anyway, I think we're just so caught up in the experience. Enjoying being out and doing fun stuff. So what did you get at the yarn at the uh, needle? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, I, I was squeezer. You were reserved, is that what you think? But I'm dropping everything, so. Okay, so the first thing was everybody talks about, in fact, I, I first heard of this from Kitten Stitcher, um, is the ground walnut hmm. shells for making your smalls. So they had <laughs> a couple bags on sale. So I bought a couple bags of these, so they were pretty cheap to you try. Do you think you just dry them and then grind them in like a grinder? Probably. Because my well, friend really. has a walnut tree with like, and usually it's really prolific. I was thinking the other day when I drove by, I thought, I wonder if I could just take those and 
grind them up. They're very tinyly ground. But yeah, you'd need like a grinder, grind, like a spice grinder probably. Yeah, right. Um, so I got those and then I got a little trim. It's not gonna show up very well. It's a, it's a, it's a brown. Yeah, it doesn't, the color's not looking good, but. Uh, to put on, I have a couple of small turkeys that I've done that I'm gonna make little pillows out of and I wanted a little bit of pom-pom trim. Mm -hmm. for those and then I bought this Cricut collection love oh yeah that's right I really really love this piece and she charted it she talks about why the L is backwards in this because <laughs> I thought that's really weird and I think she said um oh where did it go Oh, I can't find it now. I, I feel like she did it accidentally. Oh, really? And then she, yeah. And then when she named it, um, uh, she, she talked about it being crazy, crazy love. And then she does chart it the right way too. So you can do the L either way, which I'll probably do it the correct way. Cause that would bug me. I think yeah. it's not coming up very well, but Anyway, I just, I've never done a wedding sampler or anything like that. And I thought that might be kind of a fun little tiny thing to stitch. I like how they have it finished. Pretty. Huh? Pretty. Pretty. Yeah. So I bought that. And I've never seen that one either by them. And then I bought, actually, Sarah, I think was going to maybe buy this, but I kind of grabbed it from her. Really? Taking it out of the plastic. Well, you said you liked it, but then I think, I think you bought something different, the but it's the blue flower, which I love her. I'm doing her Halloween squirrels and it just says acorns. Yeah. I really love that one. I think I love the quote. What doesn't it say like about an acorn creates a forest or something, something about the creation. Yeah. The creation of a, the creation of a thousand forests is in a small, is in a single acorn. And, and it's I just, it's really pretty. Every it's time great. there's a, we haven't gone out there this fall, but there's a state park not too far from us and there's acorn trees everywhere. And every time we go, at least one girl is just like comments and realizes all these acorn that are laying on the ground have created this forest that's around us, but it probably came from like one, uh, you know, yeah. or whatever. So anyway, amazing. I thought about that. Yeah. So I love that one. So maybe when you're done with it, I'll nab it. Yeah. Pass it. Then the other thing that I saw, and I've never seen this, it's from Blackbird Designs. It's part of Anniversaries of the Heart Pattern One. Oh, this I think she pretty. did. Uh huh. I think she did. I don't know how many she did. And I and I I chose it. It's very muted. It's it's blues and grays, and I like actually a lot of browns, which surprised me when we pulled the threads for it. Um, but I love the wintry feel of it and actually cracked up because it's got a peacock down here. <laughs> I didn't realize how many peacocks there were. And I did look up actually when we were at Sarah's because that Hawk Run Hollow Christmas piece has a peacock in it. And there is quite a lot of Christian symbolism um, having to do with a peacock, which I never knew. So anyway, I bought this because I loved it. Yeah. And I put wintry decorations up after Christmas. I focus on snow and um, blue, you know, blue and stuff. And then I bought all the flosses for it, which was kind of a splurge because it's all. Is it all um, overnight? It's all fancy floss, yeah. And actually, again, I'm really shocked at how much brown there is, which shows me that that picture probably is not true. Hmm. So I might have to, you think it looks I might have to change. Than gray? Yeah, a little well, bluish gray, but there's not really a lot of gray. There's a lot of oh yeah, whites and browns. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I like the colors that I pulled that it pulled, yeah. but so I, that was quite a splurge. And then the last thing I got, Carolyn's look, you're gonna die if you're watching <laughs> this. So Carolyn's look on her. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Is this the right one? Well, it has that yeah. one piece on the front. Yes. Okay. So, Carolyn Zook, 
um, on her floss tube talked about wanting to do this piece called Elegant Pumpkins, um, designed by, of course, it's not right there on the front where it would be handy. Sorry. Uh, Marie Barber. And it's a, it was a popular piece and people were all like, ooh, where'd you get that pattern? This is, the piece, this is the piece she really wanted to start for her September focal piece in our magazine monthly challenge. And she talks about how she bought the most expensive magazine in the world. And apparently, I don't know if it, I didn't, I had never saw the video, I think I must have missed that one, where she talked about it, but I, I'm thinking she must have bit, been bidding on this. Hmm. And so the bid went up and went up and went up and she really wanted it. And there was like only one of these. I mean, I've looked since then because I wanted it because the piece I showed you guys all a very bad copy of a few weeks ago, I had bought the digital copy of this magazine, okay, because I wanted to stitch and I've this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says boo and I I love this little piece. So I bought the I talked about how I bought the digital CDs which I love because it's get got that like piece. to get this piece but I got way more. But I'm I'm sorry Jan because I think I only paid four dollars for this magazine in her shop. Wait was it she Carolyn or Jan? Carolyn. You oh, said sorry, Jan. Carolyn. It was it was Carolyn. Sorry, Carolyn, but I could have got this for you for $4 at the store. I don't think she had more, but Sarah happened to be looking in the, she How had like a, a know? basket. Huh? How did I even know that that's the one? Does it have elegant pumpkins on the front? No, it does so not have not, elegant pumpkins on the front. I don't know how, I must have just opened it up the magazine to flip through it and seen that piece and said, oh, mom, isn't this the one that Carolyn is stitching? And she's and yes, like, oh yes. my gosh, are you kidding me? She has that here. And um, this is, and this is from October 2011, I think it is. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, I saw it and I thought, oh, I have to buy it. Cause I really wanted to, I didn't want to have to print that other piece out in color because, you know, printer ink. <laughs> Cause drama. And husbands. <laughs> Cause drama. Does anyone else have people in their life that are fussy about the ink? I think I'm the one in our house that is. Like, I'm more like that. But we did get a new printer that's like, uses, I want to say toner or something. It's, it, it was a pricier printer, but mm -hmm. it can fill up these little tanks with ink rather than having yeah. the super pricey cartridges. And it lasts forever. Like, we've hardly mm. even made a dent in this. So maybe that's your guys' solution because all of a sudden now I don't really care if we print everything. Well, I feel like we had something like that where he was always refilling things and it wasn't all that much better. No, maybe. But he just hates it. And anyway, and then, so that's what all I got at that store. But then um, when I got home, um, an eBay purchase showed up. And this was <laughs> another thing that Carol, um, Carolyn showed. It's the it's the um, recent Stony Creek um, mm -hmm. Christmas issue. And I think all the designers, mm -hmm. all the designs are by Stony Creek, but I bought it mostly because there's just some really cute little cheerful pieces I might stitch someday or tomorrow. <laughs> but, <laughs> or start like, tonight. <laughs> isn't that just, I just think that is so cute. That looks like Debbie Mum, doesn't it? That little snowman? Yeah, it does. Yeah, there's that one, and I also bought it for, there's a couple other ones. I should have marked them. Um, look at this one. I don't know how that relates to Christmas, but. The Cardinal, maybe? Yeah, but there's sunflowers, dear. Yeah. <laughs> a couple pieces that, even she was a little, when she did her flip through, she was kind of like, how is this Christmas? But you know, um, oh, the other one I believe is this sampler. It's kind of small, but it's got a lot of little sayings. All hearts come, all hearts come home for Christmas. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Wish upon a Christmas star, and it's a cute little 
Oh, that's yeah. lovely. And so also cute little Debbie mum ish to me as yeah. well. But I thought there was one other there's another piece in here that maybe it's just part of that other pattern. Oh, this this is cute. Flowers in winter banner series. Oh, that is cute. Anyway, so I did, I splurged and got this waiting for me in my mailbox. That's cute. Um, and that's all my haul. What's your haul? What did you get at the store? Oh, well, I got the white fabric that I started that blue sampler piece on. So I already showed that. Mm -hmm. And then I got, so remember I've been talking about wanting to do I love red, white, and blue, but I don't really want to do patriotic in the summer too much. Like I kind of prefer nautical style. So I, this was in, she had like a little sale basket that I was just kind of digging through because I was curious. And most of it was stuff I wasn't interested in, but this I loved because I love poppies. I love poppies. So this says, um, when the waves kiss your feet and the sand is your seat. So we've got a lighthouse, which I love, and puppies, which I love, and sailboats, which I love, and beach toys, and waves. I just, like, loved it. So this is cottage garden samplings, which I don't really know that. I have to look them up. Company. I know. I, I meant to. The designer is, it's August's Poppy is the name of this piece, and it's by Vinier P.S. Tan. Oh. And the, it's really cute. I'm saying it correctly, but I love this. Yeah, so I actually bought the threads for it. It didn't require, it's actually not very many threads. There's, well, white. There's a few more DMCs that I'll get, but I got the over dye threads. There were four called for. Them. So I don't have fabric for this necessarily yet, so it's, I'm not turning around. And this was one of the girls's. I think Liddy needed that for. These are the, the over dyed threads. Um, well, those are pretty. I know. Oh my gosh. It's Capri, which is just really, I mean, it kind of matches my earring. Kind of a, mm, <laughs> sorry, it's, oh, I have my, my stitching light shining because the lighting in here was just not very good. And then this is called Country Redwood, which is like a really dark brownish red. And mm -hmm. then I think there's some brighter reds with the poppies. And then Mediterranean Sea. This one's really pretty. You can actually kind of see the variation in the variegation in that. Yeah. And then that's the really pretty. Blue Jay. You can kind of see the variegation in that too. Oh yeah. So really pretty threads. I think that the would be pretty. are um yeah, a mixture of the blues. So it switches between a darker and a lighter blue. Yeah, I love it. So I got the threads for that because I thought, well, I'm here. I might as well just grab those. So I kind of splurged. Yeah. I don't buy, I don't know. I tend to be just more careful, especially because when we go out shopping and we have the girls, I'm shopping for four people's crafting needs and not just my own. And then well, I, we, I just, we just need to make sure we go once in a while without them. I know. Yeah. Because if I'm going to drag them around, and they were really good sports, I think they really do not mind. I remember yeah. going to the craft stores and stuff with you, and yeah. when I was around their ages, it was fun. I enjoyed it, and yeah, they were really good. Not, not buy them something, um, so they each got some yarn, and they each got the design. And I think I made sure they had some threads that they were missing. But I also loved this too. This is a is it a drum? Is that how you is that what that is finished? I would call it a drum. Yeah, yeah. Or a pin cushion? I don't know. I think it, I think you call it a drum. I feel like mm -hmm. it says something about finishing it. Anyway, I have no idea if I'll finish it that way because. Show the strip. <laughs> yeah, here's the actual design. So that's what it looks like. It's a little girl. A little girl on the swing. Oh. Barn. <sighs> really pink. Do you know what I love? Love is those flowers embedded in that hill. I know. Isn't that pretty? Yeah really nice so yeah you really hardly get a picture of it you know you just get a glimpse there but the whole thing mm -hmm. wraps around and it's finished so fancy with is it lady dot yeah lady dot creates trim and i'm not sure what they used it's like a tweed on the top anyways 
She says, the model is finished with golden fleece, hand dyed wool and algae chenille. I have no idea how to finish this way, but I would hope I'll be, I do really kind of want to try. Finish. There will be a tutorial. And I, I wonder if Vonna Pfeiffer doesn't have one. Yeah, probably. And might even have- She's got some amazing, yeah. Oh, she does. She actually says inside, finishing notes, excellent examples from Kathy, is it Haberman? Haberman? Oh, yes. Hands-on design and Vonna Pfeiffer. Yep. So I'll- I'll be, I think I want to stitch it and finish it that way and be brave because it is really yeah. finished up that way. And then I came home. I almost, I almost got brave and bought a bis, Biscornu. Biscornu. You didn't buy it? Oh, I, oh yeah, you didn't get it. No. You thought about it. I thought about it. I think I was going to, but then you showed this, you said, look, mom. Oh yeah. But I think I put the other one down and bought this because I really, I, I kind of have a thing for acorns. I have another little acorn piece that I bought years ago, a little tiny one. And I actually have an acorn shaped frame to put it in. I just never have done it. I got some, so we had been talking about Jobelin. I don't know why we were even talking about it now. It's very different. Because, because the pink, the orange fabric I got is Jobelin. Oh, it's so much thinner. Or no, Murano. Well, somehow we were talking about Jobelin. So when I was putting in, I did a one, two, three stitch order. Remember I had mentioned, yes. I think that I was doing that and it came this week. So I got some 14 count Ada for the cross stitch class I'm teaching to a bunch of little girls this fall, starting in November. And then I had bought that um, blue that I started my little Halloween trick or treaters on. So then I, these were like $3 for this little piece. It's only like nine by 13. So it's just gonna be for something little, but yeah. I just, it was like $3 a piece, so I, or $2 or something, so I just bought a bunch for six bucks total or something. I yeah, think, well, I just have little pieces. Oh, I don't, that's more than I ever have. I never have that much. I also, in that, in that one, two, three stitch order, I had told my friend I wanted to get her the Mirabilia Snow Queen pattern for her birthday, because she wanted, we were kind of talking, she was wondering if, where those are sold. She saw that I was stitching that Gathering Eggs piece by Nora Corbett, so she was looking at Anyway, so long story short, I ordered it for her, but when I opened up the package, I was like, did I order myself a Mirabilia? And I was like racking my brain and pulled it out and I realized right away, oh, this is for, this is for my friend, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think that might be one that I start in the new year sometime. That's my goal is to stitch the Snow Queen by Mirabilia. By Mirabilia. I love that one. Well, that one given the me. fact that you don't have a problem with full coverage pieces that you keep pulling out of your basket, how long has it been since you probably would full coverage? Well, I've been stitching that dimensions one, but I haven't pulled it out for a while. I should. Yeah. Um, okay. I have that dimensions kit too, that winter barn. I have another dimensions kit that I've tucked away that I'll pull out eventually. Mm. It's not dark blue, I think. So I will wait. Yeah. We have a winner for that little mystery giveaway. And the winner, I don't even have it with me, but it, there's no point because it's a mystery but we were giving away last week a little package of goodies and they're, they cross seasons, but they're mostly little tiny smalls or things like that. Um, mm -hmm. And the winner for last week's giveaway is Teresa. I want to say chuckle, but I might be saying your last name wrong, but that's how it like looks like it's spelled. Um, so Teresa, congratulations. <laughs> you won. Let me double check that I'm even saying Yay. your name, right? Wouldn't that be terrible if I was like, no, I think I have it right. I'm just double checking. Yeah, Teresa, hopefully chuckle. And uh, uh -huh. email us and I will get that sent out to you hopefully this week if I can be on top of life. Do you have any, I forgot to ask if you have anything yeah. for this week. For giveaway? I don't. I didn't pull anything. I have something that I'm kind of waiting. I think maybe I'll give it away next week. I feel like I've got something tucked away, but then I, I couldn't think of what it was, but here, I'll just reach. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait another week or two and give it away. Okay. Holder. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else? Do you have any significant plans? 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 I have plans. Hmm? Any more starts you're about to do? <laughs> you got some new starts? Again, got a thing about acorns. Oh, yeah. 
So I think I might start this this week. I really have to get back <clears throat> to button up. Although today's Merry Monday. Mm -hmm. So tonight I might stitch on um, my Do You See What I See. It's, oh, yeah. I should have that done by now. It is not that much stitching, but yeah, I don't pull it out very often. It's not that exciting to stitch, but I really like the finished simplicity of it, but it's mm -hmm. kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I only, I only work on it a little bit at a time and then I put it away. I don't know. I might work on um, uh, our autumn Leisha Pulse in a little bit more because obviously I'm behind. It's a race. It's always a race, you know. I know. Um, yeah. And I'll work on, I don't know. I don't really know. I've got so many options. You have so many to choose from. It's decision. I'll try to stick to our tags though a little bit more, at least a little bit each day. I might not stitch the whole night on one of our tag pieces, you yeah. know, like our Merry I Monday or, or truly lovely Tuesday or whatever. Cause that, that actually gives us a little more freedom. Yeah. Um, winter, uh, Wednesday, winter, winter, Wednesday, I probably will try to pull out my button up. I haven't worked yeah. on that for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I was going to, and I just haven't done it. So yeah. What about you? You going to start anything new? No, I don't think I have anything new to start. Um, you started them all this week. I started them all. I couldn't wait. I am going to... So see this, guys? I was not the one that started all the things this week. I know. It was me. Look what a bad influence she is. She's a bad influence. <laughs> terrible. Terrible Ter influence. I am going to start, actually, I'm going to start something. <laughs> I need to start the last ornament for the girls. Um, and I keep saying that mm -hmm. week after week. And I think I just don't like the cheapo crummy fabric I'm stitching it on but I want to just keep them on the same big fabric um it was like an experiment from Amazon and it's not it's a linen but it's definitely not even so like patterns are stretched anyway I've shown them before um so I they're just, still really cute they are turning out adorable so I don't know why I'm like I think probably probably the problem is that I'm stitching on a piece of fabric that's like five feet long so probably if I just cut out the piece that I need the stitching experience would be a lot more delightful so I think this week when I start that I'm actually gonna cut out the fabric and then I'll yeah. enjoy that a lot more so I am gonna do that this week I, I'm ah. dragging my feet on just starting it but I do I gotta get on that because it's gonna be <laughs> here before we know it um, mm -hmm. and I also really need to work on my joyful world. I didn't work on that border at all that I said I was going to work hard on this week because I had too many new starts to do. And I have a feeling I'm going to probably really pick up that Halloween piece a bunch um, for fun. Yeah. And it's just kind of the time for that. And I probably really I like actually knitting on that little baby sweater. Yeah. Cause that baby's gonna I think I will work on, I will work on my Christmas Hawk Run Hollow tonight too. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to work on my Hawk Run Hollow too. It's been probably a month since I pulled it out mm -hmm. and I really am enjoying working on it. I just kind of have so many others that I keep turning towards. Sorry. I'll I'm trying to fix my hand. Somewhat with the hashtags. Yeah. You know, even if you just do half hour of your yeah. stitching time. Yeah. That's kind of how I viewed always like mania too. You know, you just have to put a few stitches in and then you don't have to stay on it the whole day mm -hmm. if you don't want to. Yeah. So. That's kind of what I, what I'll probably do. Yeah. So yeah, that's about all I got. I don't have anything exciting coming up. I went back to work today. That was anticlimactic. A party. <laughs> uh, that was a what? party. A party. Well, I, I slept last night. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to sleep last night, but I actually did. So that was good. So bright now. Yeah. I always feel like Sunday nights are hard for me and going back after a vacation. I don't know why. It's like my, I don't know. It's not like I am that anxious about my job, but it's just coming back and just starting the routine all over again. And my coworkers did a great job again covering for me, but you know, and they do the same thing I do when I cover for them. There's yeah. always a few tasks that are a little more complicated, need a little more follow up, and they leave those for when you get back. Yeah. So I had a lot of phone calling to do today, which wasn't all that 
great, but it wasn't, I, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, but my other coworkers on vacation now, so I'm covering her desk, which luckily she cleaned it all up. It's just ongoing things. And she's only off three days this week, three days next week. So she's in the end of the week. So it's not the full week, two weeks, because she's gone two weeks. So it kind of, I'm trying to figure out a way to make myself really take a lunch break mm. where I actually get away from my computer and, and stitch again like I used to. I did that a lot during the quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, my workload was also a lot less because we were, you know, struggling to stay in business. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I just feel like I just, I'll, <laughs> I just sit down and I just keep working. Yeah. You need and a timer I, on your phone and stick to it. Or I should. I actually need, I don't know if anybody else is working from home, but I also find that I don't really have a good routine. It's just, I just kind of mm -hmm. float through the morning. I get up, I just shuffle in there with my slippers on in the dark, mm -hmm. log on and just start working. And then I kind of make coffee a half hour later. And then I might be take a shower at 10. And then maybe today it was noon when I took my shower, you know, I just kind of pop in there and pop out. Mm -hmm. So I don't, and I'm supposed to be doing back exercises and I really need to be walking, taking walking breaks every hour and a half or so. And I'm not doing any of that. It's like, I just can't get a schedule down that I will stick to. And it's frustrating because I know I need it. And I think it would help mentally. It would help. Yeah. It would probably you know? make a difference. I was so regimented when I went into the office, I had my coffee first thing at nine o'clock. I had a little snack around 11. I would have cereal or something and then I would eat my lunch between one and two I was very regimented mm -hmm. there's no regimentation right now yeah so I need help with that if anybody has any tips on that like how to be more disciplined that'd be great hey so we had problems with my memory card and we just wanted to hop on and say a quick goodbye to put at the end of the video here so I can get it uploaded and out to you all yes and yep sorry for the delay and hope this works out um doing it this way and hopefully sarah can splice this in I will. Um, anyway we love you all and didn't want to just end it with us in the middle of talking without finishing a sentence so have a great week we'll probably see you sometime over the weekend bye you bye